It's still 30 years away, but that hasn't stopped Labor spruiking travel times for its multi-billion dollar suburban rail loop. Despite questions about why the Premier bypassed his own planning process, opposition leader Matthew Guy has conceded the idea could have merit. State political reporter Andrew Lund. As politicians focused on the future, this was today's reality for passengers on the busy Dandenong line. Delays, confusion and crowding after a signal fault threw the timetable into chaos. I came all the way from Cardinia Road railway station and took about an hour and 45 minutes. Half hour from Swingwell to here. So. Terrible. Not far away, Daniel Andrews was at Monash University talking up Labor's $50 billion plan for an underground rail loop linking the southeast with Doncaster, the airport and Werribee. Trains on some sections of this new suburban rail loop will travel at up to 130 kilometres an hour. It's unlikely to be finished until 2050, but that hasn't stopped the Premier promising travel times of 45 minutes from Cheltenham to the airport and 25 minutes from Box Hill. There's no use talking about a project that will be delivered when Daniel Andrews is 93 years old. I mean, I don't knock new infrastructure, I don't knock the idea, but I, I do question the seriousness of the announcement. Many details of the project remain vague, including the exact location of its southeastern terminus. While it's marked on maps as Cheltenham, it's understood the preferred option is actually here at Southland. Despite the long lead time and Labor's decision to bypass Infrastructure Victoria, the idea continues to attract support. This is. Uh an absolutely visionary piece of infrastructure that will be of a very, very high importance to the university sector. This is way above where we usually get transport projects. It's a vision that changes how this entire city will work. The Premier is hoping voters will prove just as enthusiastic. Andrew Lund, Nine News.